I usually say that if you understand posting setups, then you understand one of the most fundamental parts of the system, because they are a very important part of the underlying structure. And there's a lot of videos on posting setup. So if you're in doubt about the concept or the basic premises for this, then I recommend that you search for those. Let's have a look at the job posting group. As you can see here, I have only one job posting group called standard. And if you have a simple setup, one posting group can be enough. But I usually recommend, especially if you're using different working process methods, that you have one posting group per web method. And of course, if you need to split things in another way, then you can create as many as you want. Basically, job posting groups, they define the relationship between your job and the general ledger. So the whole basic setup here are account numbers from the chart of accounts stating where the system should post working process cost amounts or where it should post item costs and the sales. So the job posting group enabled the system to know where to post usage and sales and working process transactions. So you don't have to consider those postings. You need at least one job posting group in order to start using your job module. If you're in doubt of the meaning of any of these fields, watch the more advanced video. You can define a default job posting group in the job setup, which will be inherited to all new jobs. And if we go to the job card, you can see that the job posting group here is filled out with the value standard because it was set up as my default in the job setup. I'm able to change this posting group, but since I only have one option in my system, it doesn't make sense right here. But of course, if you have different ones and you have set up a default, you might want to change it if it doesn't apply to that specific job. You can even add it on your job task level. Here I've added the field job posting group. It might not be visible to you right now, but then you can add the field as a personalization. It could be relevant to have different job posting groups if you're using different working process methods. And these can also be individual per job task. And then, of course, the job posting group should follow that. 